Hello students, today we are going to study experiment number 6 of power system operation control. The title of the experiment is to study load frequency control with integral control action. For this experiment we will require MATLAB simulating software. Now we will start with the theory part of the experiment for which we will require complete block diagram representation of load frequency control of an isolated power system. This is the mathematical model of speed governor system. The output of speed governor system is connected to input of turbine system. The output of turbine system is connected to input of generator load system. The frequency response signal is fed back to the speed changer setting. Now we will start with proportional plus integral control. The in a dynamic response we have studied that there is a steady state drop in frequency of 0.09 hertz from no load to full load. The system frequency specifications are rather stringent and therefore so much change in frequency cannot be tolerated. In fact it is expected that steady state in change in frequency will be zero. So this state steady state change in frequency can be brought back to schedule value by adjusting speed changer setting. The system could undergo intolerable dynamic frequency changes with changes in load. So a signal from delta F is fed back through an integrator to the speed changer setting. Now we will see the changes in the complete block diagram representation of load frequency control. This is the complete block diagram representation. Here we will add the integrator block before the speed changer setting. Now the system becomes the uh, proportional plus integral control action for load frequency control. When we find out the steady state frequency change in frequency then we will see that steady state change in frequency for this particular system becomes zero. So we can say that with the help of integral controller this change in the frequency at this point becomes zero. Now we will see the graph of frequency versus time for a positive change in the load the change in the frequency is given by this this is without integral control action this is approximated first order approximation this is the frequency response for integral control action now for MATLAB simulation we will see the transfer functions of different blocks transfer function of speed governor system is 10 upon 0.4 s plus 1 transfer function of turbine system is 0.1 upon 0.5 s plus 1 transfer function of generator load system is 100 upon 20 s plus 1 gain of the system is 1 upon 3 transfer function of integral controller is minus 0 0.09 upon s now with the help of this transfer function we will try to develop the mathematical uh, MATLAB simulation model for this particular experiment. Now this is the home screen of the MATLAB simulating software. Go in the file menu, open new, pull open model. Now this untitled model will open in front of you in this particular option that is library browser click on library browser as we required the transfer function find out the transfer function in this particular library so we will find out one by one in commonly used block we will take the scope so we will add the scope this is scope then find out the transfer function this is transfer function add the transfer function then we will require summation sum of elements we will require gain So rotate this gain block block 
then we will require subtract then sum of elements this is it now we have we, we require three transfer functions so copy paste three times now connect all the blocks sum of elements is connected to then then last point we will require step input function so in the sources you will find the step input function at one title here we will add step input function now changes make the changes in sum of element put minus sign in step input function initial value at step time 0 is at step time 1 it is 1 I have set it at 1 now change the gain to 1 upon 3 now change the transfer function these are the transfer functions so 10 upon 0.4 s plus 1 is the transfer function of speed governor system so here in the numerator put 10 and in the numerator denominator 0.4 s so 0 0.4 similarly second transfer function 0.1 upon 0.5s s and last transfer function is 100 upon 20s s make the changes this is the dynamic response of the system we will run the simulation and check the response so for positive change in the input we have got this particular graph this response is called as this response is called as uh, load frequency response without integral control action so this graph we have to take up to this point so uh, the change in the frequency must be zero so we will make the changes in the this in this block just copy one more time so select everything copy one more time so that we will observe both the response that is without integral control and with integral control action so before this we will add the one more transfer function to represent the integral integral controller this is connected at this point
whose transfer function is given as minus 0 0.009 we'll just check it minus 0 0.09 minus 0 0.09 upon s so just write 1 slash 0 so this is the integral controller now in this sum of the elements write plus sign and then minus so that we will add this signal change connect minus sign plus sign so this way we have completed the uh, load frequency control with integral control action now we will see the graph of this here you can observe it is it has initially it has some oscillations but after some time it is settled at zero position so change in the frequency with the help of integral control action is zero now we will add both the graphs in one screen so add go in this option number of axes put to apply so connect this connect this so upper one is without integral control action so we will write the name without integral control control action without integral control apply here you can observe the name of the scope scope similarly in access properties of second scope we will change with integral control action now we will run the simulation we will check the output so for without integral control action you will observe that there is a change in the frequency equals to minus 2 uh, minus 0 0.029 hertz and for the with control action it is 0 exactly equal to 0 at start it has some oscillations but after some time the oscillations are vanishes now we will check for the negative change in the load here i have given positive change in the load we will add one scope for the or we just add the scope in the existing one so make it 3 so that we can add the input also we will delete this now we will once again see for positive change in the load so for positive change in the load at zero only we have applied the load so for positive change in the load this is the scope this is the change in load change in load so may give the name change in load so we will change it final value so initial value 1 minus uh, final value is also 1 so we will write here initial value minus 1 F we will write initial value as 0 and then final value as minus 1 so at 1 time it will change to minus 1 here you can observe at one time the change in the in uh, power demand it is it changes to 
minus 1. So, from that you have observed this is second scope is the integral control action where at certain time it is it has some oscillations and it is settled at 0. But in first scope you have observed that it has continuous oscillations and it has not settled at 0. So, change in the frequency with with respect to without con integral control action has there some value. Likewise, you can study this particular experiment. I hope you understood this experiment.